Welcome back to another course on the Coral Draw course for beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the free hand tool. So here it is, you just going to click. Let's hold it down for a minute. So we have these three points, they act similar to each other, but for now we're going to look at the free hand tool. So just select that. Select that of between a curve. I'm just going to draw a curve here. And then you can see it's not so perfect, but you have these nodes on it. So this is how you use a, a, a freehand tool. And you can create curves and other nodes, as you can see, I can be able to manipulate it and move it around. So you can either use the freehand tool to create curved uh, shapes or sharp edged shapes so let's try a cup shape a closed shape that is and if you want to know that your shape is fully closed it will bring this arrow at the cursor and once you at least it will have formed a closed shape so let's try this again and you can see that little arrow next to my cursor so if I release that it will close that shape for me and now I'll be able to change the colors so let me just resize this place it here now let's try uh, drawing a straight line using the freehand tool and that's very easy all you have to do is click then drag it out in whatever direction you want then just click again and you have a straight line. Now there are a lot of things you can do to this straight line similar to the curved line. You can come over here and change its weight. You can select a bordered or dashed line. You can choose to add arrow points at the beginning and at the end of that point. This will apply similar to this, so let's try and increase this, let's make it more, so you can see, so you can make these changes to these lines. Another thing with the freehand tool is that you can be able to draw sharp edged shapes. So here we've created curvy shape, so let's try using uh, the freehand tool to create shapes like a square, rectangle or a triangle. So just click. Then double click. You click the first time, then you come over here, double click. Again, double click. Again. And then when you come at the end here, you only click once. And you've created a closed shape. Let's try creating a triangle. So click once. Top. Double click. Come over here, double click again. And then once you're closing it up, you click only once. So we've created these two shapes using the freehand tool. Again, you can go ahead and change the colors. And I'm just going to place them over here. Now let's look at creating curves more closely with the freehand tool. So as you can observe at the top here, we have this... Um, command here that allows you to smooth out your lines it's known as the free hand smoothing command now currently it's at 50 percent and at 50 percent this is the kind of line i'll get let's see what will happen if i put it at zero percent you can see the little bit the line is more curvier if we just select this select it again you can see it's not perfect, it has more dips and dips to it as compared to the first one. But now let's try putting this back to 100 and see the difference. You can straight away notice the difference between the three of them. So this one is at 0% and it doesn't look really good. This is the 50% and it's somehow okay 
but with this one you can see the curves are perfect they're smooth it doesn't have as many nodes as this swing or this one so make a point of using this command when you're drawing lines now again it depends with what you're drawing or what you're creating so go ahead and practice with this and see how it will work out for you